Flowdesk tutorial, how to use Flowdesk as a beginner. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use Flowdesk. So let's get into it. Now for those of you who don't know what Flowdesk is, Flowdesk is a email marketing tool and it can help you increase your business. So let's get into it. So Flowdesk is free. However, there is a pricing plan. Let me get over it here. So let's go ahead and talk about it real quick. So as you can see, there are three plans, the free plan, the $38 per month plan, and the $26 per month plan. So over here in the free plan, if we click on discover more, we can see these are all the things that are included. So over here, you can see you have all these stuff right here. So it has basically all the necessary stuff such as audience segmentation, subscribers, robust analytics, data, exports, integrations, community access, and customer support. You get world-class templates, custom fonts, personalized links, custom domain, and link and bio option as well. You don't get the forms such as pop-up forms, embedded forms, and all of that, nor do you get email marketing access, nor do you get e-commerce. So keep that in mind. For that, you have to get the email package in it. You will get email marketing and font but you won't get the e-commerce options whereas if you get the email and checkout you get all of that so keep that in mind and over here you can see how many subscribers you want so if you want 14,000 subscribers you know the price will stay the same whereas for everyone else it will increase per month so you can see if we had let's say 50,000 uh, subscribers we'd just pay $38 per month for the email marketing whereas everyone else would pay 350 based on the average competitor cost so keep that in mind so yeah it depends on you what plan you want but you know for now we'll go with the free plan so let's go ahead and click on sign up for free and get started so the sign up process is very simple uh, you can start your 30 day free trial right here you can use the email or password option or you can continue with google i'm going to sign up with google and when you first sign up or log in, this is going to be what is presented to you. So over here, you just, you know, arrive at the theme library and you can choose whichever theme you want. So these are different templates that you can choose from for your emails. So, so you have this uh, little timeline type of template where you get a certain time and people can avail that offer. You can go with that or you can go with these ones as well. Every one of them look really, really beautiful. And yeah choose whichever one you want so let's go ahead and select this one right here you click on the template and it's going to take us over here onto the simple countdown offer you can check it out by scrolling up and down and you can see this is how it looks like uh, and this is the phone view as well this is going to be the computer and then you can go ahead and customize your template if you don't like it go back and choose another on the left hand side you can go ahead and select all these different options like a link and bio option checkout forms and emails so right here is the link and bio option so whenever someone clicks on the link on your bio uh, whether it's instagram facebook tiktok whatever this is how it is going to be presented to them so you can select whichever one you want let's say we like this one and over here you can choose a segment so if you click over here you can start typing and find or create a segment so if you click over here you are good to go but we'll create that later for now we'll just simply click on browse all and select the simple countdown offer and click on customize wait for it to load up and this is how it looks like so we are now in the email builder and we can go ahead and edit the unit by clicking over here we can go ahead and move it up and down if we click on this entire column this is how it would look like we can increase the sizing and spacing of it as well so this is the medium one that was set to you can go ahead and change it to large as well i think the medium looks good you can increase the border thickness by just simply sliding this tool uh, you can select the dividers as well you can go with zero dividers or you can you can add different shapes to it as well it depends on you i think this looks good you can change the fill color as well so if you want you can go ahead and change the fill color to whichever one you want like this one or this one you know go with whichever one you feel looks good and you can choose the border as well whatever color you like and over here you can select other shapes as well you can even have lines as well but yeah i think the dots look good so we can change the dots color to whichever color we want yeah but black does look pretty decent so we'll keep it black then we have the timer option so right here you can add the timer so let's say we have this offer available for 
10 days yeah that looks good it is a fixed timer you can add like a fixed timer and you can add like an end date as well it depends on you but i think 10 days is okay then you can add the link over here you can add a link or attach a file so that they can click on that button and they will be presented to that link then you have the block option as well so you can add like a description of it uh, time unit button background and all of that once that's done you should be good to go then down below you have the image section where you can click on the image and add the image you want you can change the shape over here you can see that you can just simply click on the upload button and upload your image you can change the layout as well by clicking on the layout button and it'll present all the layouts to you and you can select whichever layout you want so over here you have a bunch of different layouts so you can select whichever one you want then you have the link and block option as well for now we'll leave it at that and then down below you can select the text of it and change it out to whatever text you want and down below you have the social button as well and to connect all of them just simply click on the button click on the links and you can click on so manage social links select the social link you want let's say we want the instagram then you add the instagram and click on save same with other ones as well like facebook x uh you know youtube whichever link you want you can go ahead and add it once you have finished your email all you got to do is click on next at the top click on it fill out this form and you should be good to go and here we go so once you've done that over here who is this email coming from you can add your name and email right here this is how the template is going to look like over here you can select the audience so we'll just type in the name we have our email right here click on continue this is to choose the audience and after that you can send it and over here just simple countdown offer and over here you can add a preview text if you want which i don't know where it is being written but yeah add a preview task after you've added the preview text just simply click on continue and you can add segment individuals and upload a csv so it depends on you so over here we can add individuals so type in emails with a comma and exclude emails over here so i'll just type in a few emails and once you have added the emails you are good to go then you can just simply click on the save button and here we go and then just simply click on continue and all four of these recipients will receive this email that you have created and once you've done that you are good to go so i have sent the emails as well so now we'll go ahead and check them out and over here you can see i have received the email over here and we can go ahead and get the offer if we had added the links as well but as you can see it works and right here is the email folder and then over here is your form section where you can create different forms over here is going to be your workflow and then you have your checkout option as well and over here you can add different checkouts you have digital products services phoebe's checkouts all of those and then you have the audience as well so you can add different audience you can add different subscribers segmentations and all of that i've already got have these four people right here and then you have your analytics section where you can analyze and get all the data of your email marketing campaign so yeah very simple this is how you use it this is how you use flowdesk to send different emails so thank you guys for watching and hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye